All right, thank you, Vicky. It is 747, and you know him from Animal Planet show Pit Boss. This weekend, Shorty Rossi is here in Denver for the Denver Pet Expo, and his goal is to help educate people about animal cruelty. Shorty Rossi is here with us this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Now I'm you're happy. here without your pit bull, Hercules. Well, he had a little uh, number two issues. He ate oh, something geez. bad, and <laughs> we couldn't take him on a plane because he might have an explosion, and it's oh, not going to be good. Oh, he was my. here last year, but, okay. you know, he's not here today. Well, you do know that uh, the pit bull issue is a controversial topic here in our state, and we have several cities and counties that do actually have bans in place. These were put in place after some really horrible attacks in our area, but they've been controversial from the get-go. Of course. Now, um, even Aurora is taking this to the ballot in November of to course. see if there should be a repeal. So what are your thoughts on this issue? Uh, you have um, some experience well, with pit bulls. Whatever people in the government came up with this asinine idea of breed specific legislation wasn't due to common sense. They didn't realize that the millions of dollars that the city of Denver has spent in the last 25 plus years is just a waste. I mean, right now, Denver is the top 10 cities that has the most dog bites, and they're not pit bull type dogs. Countries and other cities are like Cleveland, Cincinnati, even Italy, are now coming to the point that this is not working. We have to change it, and they have. The city of Boulder will refuses to do BSL. Instead, they are training people how to deal with bully dogs, how to train them, pit bull type dogs. I mean, when we came and filmed our show out here in 2011, we wanted to bring the awareness to the people in the world, because our show is shown all around the world, what Denver is doing wrong. You know, we want to even talk with Charlie Brown and have a meeting with him, and he turned out to be a coward, and didn't he want me to face me face to face. We're here, there's other ways of doing this. Instead of using storm tactics, like you guys going in, holding guns to people's heads and taking their dog, why don't you go to the dog fighters and the people that are causing this problem? The dog is a product of the owner, not the dog itself. Well, here in our area, we have had some pretty severe attacks. Yes. What would you say to the victims of those I feel attacks? sorry for the victims. It shouldn't have happened. So a lot of these dogs should not be in public because they were trained the wrong way. This is a powerful, muscular breed. Why would people bring this dog home and train it to be a guard dog? You're training it to be vicious. They don't know what they're doing. I live with nine pit bulls by myself in my house. Do you, am I? The only thing that's the problem with me, I probably a little mental issues. That's about it. <laughs> well, you have a pit bull rescue, um, and you have this show. I know you're trying to raise awareness about pit bulls, and what would you want to say to people about this breed? Learn about it. Research it. Before you get any dog, find out if that breed is for you. It may not be. Pit bulls are high maintenance. They can live in an apartment or on a farm, but you have to exercise them. You have to get that energy. What happens when you keep a kid locked up all day? They get into trouble. Same thing with dogs. Every dog uh, breed can bite. Our breed is more muscular and does more damage. We need to train it the right way. You know, we need the people to look differently of things. And, you know, spay and neuter your dog. Just do so many different things that these dogs can be doing. We've done so much with our show around this world and changed people's minds and government minds. Now we got to work on the city of Denver. Now we got to work on the city of Miami. Stop taking the, what I call the Hitler approach. Hmm. Well, there is, this is a big issue in our yes. state, and several cities do still have these pit bull bans in place, and some people do still appreciate them. So we'll have to see what happens, especially over in Aurora. This is going to be an issue on the ballot this November. Thanks so much for coming in today, Shorty. We appreciate Thank it. You. We know you're going to be over at the Denver Pet Expo. Um, it is tomorrow from 10 to 6 at the Denver Merchandise Mart. It is free to get in, but parking is $5. You can also bring your pet. You can find more information in the Daybreak section of our website, kwgn.com. It is 751 and still ahead, breaking news out of Missouri, where authorities have released the name of the officer who shot the unarmed teen in Ferguson. We're going to have